A colleague once stumbled upon the agnostic actor W.C. Fields in his dressing room. He was reading a Bible. Embarrassed, Fields snapped the book shut and exclaimed, I'm just looking for loopholes. <laughs> More than likely, he was really looking for grace. He just didn't know it. A loophole is nothing more than a technicality that allows you to circumvent the law and avoid personal consequences. It's a defect or flaw in the way the law was written that wasn't obvious to those who originally wrote the law. Believe me, there aren't any loopholes in God's law. He didn't miss a thing, and he didn't leave any mistakes or loopholes. That's why we need grace. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 1 through 3 explains the ironclad case God has against us. It says, you were dead in trespasses and sin in which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience, among whom we also once conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, just as everyone else. Believe me when I say that in a world without grace, there is simply no way for us to ever please God. But don't believe me. Instead, you should believe God. If you're looking for loopholes, let me show you how tightly God shut the book. According to Ephesians 2, 1 through 3, the reasons you can't skate out of your accountability to God is because, number one, we were dead. He caught us dead to rights. Number two, we were disobedient. Number three, we were doomed because of number one and two. You see, we were dead in trespasses. Uh, it says there, you he made alive who were dead in trespasses and sin. A dead man has no hope because he's dead, unless by some good fortune there's a resurrection. But verse 1 is not just a death sentence, it's an execution. It's our sins and our trespasses that condemned us to death. If God were to judge me on the merits of my less than stellar performance in life, I'd be dead. No loopholes here. Number two, we were disobedient. It's like a baseball game. It's the last inning. There are two outs and you were up. Strike one. We walked according to the course of this world. The first strike against us is that we are worldly instead of godly. Strike two. We walked according to the prince of the power of the air. The second strike against us is that we have knowingly or unwittingly been deceived by the devil. Strike three. We conducted ourselves in the lusts of our flesh. And the third strike is that we were led astray by ourselves, by our flesh. Our flesh led us away from God. This is not a pretty picture. Three strikes and you're out. Because we allowed pitches from the world, the flesh, and the devil to fly by us, we're doomed. We're doomed. By nature, we are children of wrath. That simply means we are doomed to an eternity in the lake of fire without Jesus. Not much good news here. No loopholes here. We're dead. We're disobedient. We're doomed. You know, you can look all you want for loopholes. You can search high and low. You can even hire the best attorneys that the world has to offer. And you can't beat God. You can't find a way out. Let's face it. It's just easier to come to God on his terms. It's the only way to gain eternal life. Instead of a loophole, God offers us grace. Grace means Jesus paid the penalty for my sins. Grace means that Jesus is offering me and you the free gift of eternal life. All you need to do is trust the resurrected Jesus as your savior. Grace changes everything. When you think you need a loophole, no, that's when you need a savior. That's when you need grace. Hey, this is Pastor Dennis. Thanks for taking the time to watch my five-minute message.